Hello there. How are you? It's been a while. It's Jason back in the uh, makeshift studio today. I got another question I want to answer out there for a young man named Vic. I call him Vickery, but that's just between us. You call him Vic, all right? And he kind of wrote this whole novel, which I'm not going to read to you because it's a novel. We don't have time for novels. Let's get to the point. So here's what Vic said in a shell of a nut. I know this girl, he's younger by the way, this is very important to this answer. If you're older, if you're an older dude, you need to understand this is how younger girls act. If you're a younger dude, then you already know, all right? Younger girl, they've been flirtatious, they met through some friends, they see each other when they go out. They're flirty, they're playful with each other, that vibe is there, but nothing has actually happened yet. Now, Vic said, we actually, the last time I saw her was at a train concert, okay? I'm not gonna judge you, Vic, you went to a train concert, you know, that's it's done with, all right, let's, let's move on, all right? So you did, Go to a train concert, but you were there with her. It was flirty, it was playful, you guys talked. When you laughed, you guys talked about making plans. Never, you know, neither of you ever texted each other, nothing ever happened. And now you're like, dude, I got two months left before I'm leaving town. I'm not gonna see her if, you know, when I leave, I would love for something to happen before I leave. What is it I should do? And you put in a bunch of other stuff about how awesome I am, but we don't need to talk about that. So, here's the deal. I got three things for you, Vic. All right, number one, younger girls, usually under the age of like 26, for the most part, are what I call, you know, a lot of them are more like non-committal, all right? They have a tendency to be flaky, they make plans with you and then they'll cancel it, and it's not like a big deal. It's just kind of how they are. It's what's become acceptable for them and they can get away with it, so they do, right? We always get away with what we can. So, what you need to understand is that actions do speak louder than words. You have been very flirty with her, she's been flirty with you back, that vibe is there, which is fucking awesome, that's great, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything, okay? Girls usually in the, in the early 20s and mid 20s, they're very flirtatious with a lot of guys. They'll do that with a lot of guys, especially the attractive girls, because it feels good. They like the validation, it's cool. It doesn't necessarily mean that you like, you are the one she's focused on. Chances are, even if she's flirtatious with you, but nothing's ever happened and she does it with a lot of guys, she's probably sleeping with someone else right now. Not a big deal. But you need to understand that it's good, but it doesn't necessarily mean like you're in or anything like that, okay? Here's how you get in, all right? Here's what I do, because I deal with a lot of these girls too. I have something I call long game strategy. And what this means is you just have, uh, you take the long term route as opposed to like going for the kill right away with the girl. So that means I might have three or four or five girls and I'm texting with every once in a while. We'll, you know, we'll send little flirty texts or I'll send them little pictures. They'll text me back. We just kind of stay in touch and we keep that vibe going. All right. And then I don't actually ask them out on dates or one on one because sometimes. Um, you know, they're, they're not, they don't go on dates. Like I don't really go on one-on-one -on -one dates. I don't really like to, they don't really like to. Some girls just don't do that. What's much better with these kinds of girls, the ones who you can be really flirty with, but they're kind of like prudish. Like it's kind of just a tease. With those girls, what I do is I'm always doing cool shit. So I'll have plans with my friends. It's like Friday night, we're going to do this. I'll text a bunch of them and be like, yo, me and these people are going to X, Y, Z. You should come bring some friends. Okay, much different invitation. So I'm already doing the thing and I'm like, hey, you should come if you want. Usually a couple of them show up and then when we see them in person, again, it's light, it's playful, I'm not invested in them because I know that's how these girls are and I'm not gonna put all my chips in one, in one basket or egg, wherever you put chips, I don't really know. But I'll see them in person, we'll be playful, we'll laugh. And then here's the key, all right, you don't force it with these girls. If you push too hard and they, they pull back, you're not just done right there, you're probably done for good. So instead, you, know, you, you be playful, you laugh at them and then you go talk to other girls. You let them see you talk to other girls and then eventually they're gonna come around, that fuse is gonna blow up and they're gonna make the move on you, whether it's in a dark corner of a bar in a bank parking lot or you know, maybe back at your place at three in the morning. I don't know, but the point is, keep it light, you keep it playful, you keep those fuses burning, you keep that long game going and then when they're ready to go, they're actually going to let you know, all right? So I don't force it with them. I keep them going, I keep them going, I keep them interested. I tell them, you know, it won't work between us. I play a whole bunch of mind fuckery games with them because it's fun, and then I let them make the move, all right? Now, I'm gonna tell you a quick story before I get out of here that should highlight this point. A few years ago, I met this girl who was a bartender back in Michigan, all right? She was a really attractive girl. Basically, every dude in the bar wanted her. She would have 100 guys, you know, like vultures over her every single night. So obviously, I knew you can't be like them if you're gonna get her. So instead, we flirted a lot. We teased each other a lot, a lot of banter. It was fun. It was playful. She knew where my intentions were, but I was indifferent. I didn't, like, need her. I was just being, you know, playing the long game strategy with her. We texted a little bit. This went on for a few weeks, and she would see me at the bar talking to other girls. After a while, one night, she got off work texted me and was like, what are you doing? We ended up seeing each other for a couple months after that. And she told me the reason that she wanted to be with me was because I was patient, was because I was indifferent, was because she saw me talking to other girls. And while we always flirted, she thought I was like, you know, she kind of had me. When she saw that she didn't, it made her want me more. All right. So Vickery, stop going to train concerts and start playing long game. I'm Jason Capital. I'll see you guys later.